It is Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. And it's somewhere around 9.30 in the morning. And um, I'm here with no power. I've been living here for nine days now. Or maybe today's the 10th day, I think. And this is the second or third time that we've lost power. Because evidently, like the internet connection, this area is not well equipped. So we lose power frequently. It's starting to get hot. We're in the West Texas desert here. So anyway, uh, this morning... I'm going to read first John chapter one that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life for the life was manifested and we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard, declare woe, de declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Chapter two My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not, and if any man sin we have an advocate. We have an advocate with I can't read it with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins, and not ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do we do know that we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, is is it, it word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him, ought himself also to walk, even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you. But an old commandment which ye have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, be because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven, for are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children. Because ye have known the Father, I write unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. 
I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye heard, that um, Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby know that it is the last time. They went out out from us, but they were not. They, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. But ye have an a, an unction. From the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that if that ye, which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall also ye shall ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he that he hath promised us even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received. Of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that which he shall appear, we may have confidence, and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If ye, knew, if ye know that he is righteous, ye know that every one that doeth righteousness is born of him. Hallelujah. Chapter 3. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth, transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was made that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For the purpose of the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this, in this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness, is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and, where, and wherefore slew he him, because... His own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. 
But whoso hath this world's this world's good and seeth his brother, and see, has hath need, shutteth up his bowels of compassion for him. How dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have then then have we confidence toward God, and whatsoever we ask we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this and this is his commandment that we should believe on the on the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another as he gave us commandment and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him and he he in him and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us hallelujah